how can a hospital administrators and people with power really mitigate burnout amongst black physicians? Part of it is that the way in which our healthcare system is structured has to be changed in terms of incentive, meaning that we cannot continue to have this system where black physicians who are more likely to work in communities that are overwhelmingly black or have other racial and ethnic minoritized groups are not compensated at the same rates as affluent, more white areas that can pay out of pocket or have um, private health insurance. So just the reimbursement rates, quite frankly, are really um, different if you're working in a predominantly black area. And so the way in which healthcare is financed has to change, where there is equitable payments for physicians, regardless of what patient population you are dealing with. So that is just a very real like issue that has to be addressed on, on a federal level. Okay, that's very global, but Really, a lot of black physicians are very much um, invested in that and really active in, in uh, that changing, like the National Medical Association, because it directly impacts us. Another thing is do not ask black physicians to be the only ones. So the tokenization of being black in predominantly white spaces already is very violent. So in terms of hiring black docs, the reality is there should not be just one. You have to bring a critical mass of physicians who are like-minded to a place so that there is a sense of, one, representation, but just the understanding of what it is to be minoritized in a predominantly white space. So I am at the point where People try and get me all over. I'm like, I am not accepting a position where I am the only anything. Woman, definitely not black woman because that is inherently violent. So thinking about ways in which you can do what's called cluster hires, where you can bring many people with a shared experience to a place that will be necessary but not sufficient for them to feel accepted and also to thrive, right? You gotta have some people that look like you. And I don't, I really don't think white physicians understand this and white administrators because their whole lives are underscored by being the majority. So they don't understand what it is. So that's really, really important. And then the last thing that I would say in terms of the Medicaid burnout is trust black physicians when we say we've been maltreated by either other colleagues, coworkers, patients. I, this is X-rated, but I think it's important to say that I was called a black bitch <clears throat> by a patient when there were several colleagues who were around and said nothing did nothing. There was no reaction to that. There was no sense of empathy or anything. So that's very distressing. But also it's like, I work with you guys. Nobody heard this. <laughs> like, So there has to be a way to not only report that type of verbal abuse, verbal assault in the same way that if I would have been punched in the gut, hopefully people would have been around to support me. I would have been supported in terms of reporting that. There has to be systems in place so that black physicians can report incidents of racism and actually something happens as a result of that, right? Whether you have access to leave, whether you have access to psychological support, whether you have access to um, groups to be able to process it, it can't just be like, okay, continue to do your job. And those interventions, unfortunately, do not exist um, at many of these spaces. It's just like function the same way as any other physician does, but it's like the experiences are totally different.